In this lesson, we'll cover the actual installation of the MV, including tips on proper ventilation, making the basic connections, and reviewing HDMI cabling requirements. First, install the black RF antenna for the remote control in the USB port labeled RF. For best results, the antenna should point straight backward and not at a 45 or 90 degree angle. Next, simply connect the HDMI output from your AVR to the input port on the Envy. Then, connect the output port from the Envy to your display. The zero latency pass-through can be used for bypassing the Envy, which you may want to do for zero latency gaming. Lastly, use the LAN port on the Envy to connect it to the internet. This is needed for firmware updates, remote support, and any IP control. If you're racking the unit, we covered installing the rack ears, rack mounting, and rack ventilation in a prior lesson. If you're mounting on a shelf or inside a cabinet, take care to ensure there is plenty of fresh air that can reach the unit and a way for the hot air to escape, especially in the rear. For example, we recommend never installing the Envy in a closed cabinet or in a cubby with just a front face open. That can make it difficult for hot air to escape. Okay, let's take a look next at the HDMI cabling requirements. Now we're going to review the HDMI cabling requirements. This guide is available on our website from madvrnb.com. We recommend reading it through in detail. I'm just going to touch on some high-level key points for reliable HDMI. So first, use only HDMI 18 gigabit or 48 gigabit per second premium certified HDMI cables. You want to use cables that are at least 6 feet long. So try to avoid short cables for your interconnects. Please do not use active fiber cables from source devices. Use only active fiber HMI cables for runs over 25 feet. Make sure that any directional cable is installed in the right direction. These are usually labeled source and display. In this case, the source will be the envy. If you're using an active fiber cable, make sure that you're following the vendor's recommended power requirements. In a previous lesson, we talked about having a couple of five volt power injectors handy. You never know when those will be useful. Make sure that all cables are plugged in tight and firmly seated, and make sure that HMI cables are plugged into the right MV ports. If you're using a JVC laser projector, it's particularly important to make sure you're running the JVC firmware version 3 or later. Likewise, it's generally a good idea to update the firmware on whatever display you may be using. In the unlikely event you receive a warning from the Envy that the display does not support HTCP 2.2, double check the cable between the Envy and the display and try another one as a troubleshooting step. If you need more help with this or any HDMI related matter, see our lesson on HDMI troubleshooting. Lastly, it's always a good idea to make sure the MB is using the latest firmware. Okay, with this material now completely covered, let's move on to our next lesson.